Melon DS is one of the many Nintendo DS emulators out there for Windows computers, but it may just be the best, easiest, and fastest. This video will quickly teach you how to install Melon DS and configure it so you can play your favorite Nintendo DS games on Windows. Let's just hop in and start installing. To download Melon DS, you'll want to go to the homepage of the emulator, which is linked in the description, and click the downloads page near the top. At the top of the page will be the most recent update to the emulator, and in my case, Case, it is 0.9.5. To download it, simply click the Windows at 64 link. I am using Windows 10, however it will work exactly the same on Windows 11. I also assume the installation for Linux and Mac OS is pretty similar. I created a folder named Melon DS, which you can place anywhere, and I moved the zip file there. Melon DS also requires BIOS files and the firmware for the Nintendo DS. These three files can be found anywhere on the internet. I'll have a place where I downloaded it in the description. After the download is finished, I place the zip file in the same Melon DS folder we used for the emulator. Next, we will have to unzip these two downloads. I am using WinRAW, but other applications like 7-Zip also work. I am simply extracting the files here. The emulator will only have the application, while the BIOS and firmware folder will have a few different .bin files. Before we are ready to go, we have to set up the BIOS and firmware, which is very simple. Open up the Melon DS application. You will notice that a configuration file will be created in the location of the application, which you don't need to worry about. To set up the BIOS and the firmware, simply go to the config tab and emu settings. Next, go to DS mode tab and check the use external BIOS slash firmware files. We will simply path the files to the correct part of this application. To do this, click browse on each of the needed files and browse to the file. The naming may be confusing, but just match the number to the number. If you follow me exactly, the file named BIOS9.bin will be used for the DS ARM 9 BIOS, while the BIOS 7 will be used for the ARM 7. Finally, the firmware file will be used for the DS firmware location. You can also use Melon DS to play DSi exclusive games, which, you know, there are not many, but you simply do the same exact thing, but in the DSi mode tab with the DSi specific firmware that you'll have to find on the internet. Make sure to select the DSi mode and general tab if you want to play an exclusive game. That is basically how to install Melon DS. However, there are a few settings you should check out before jumping in. Much like in every other emulator, you must set up your controls. Under config, you can select the input and hotkey tab to bind your controls. You can use a joystick control, in my case, my generic Xbox control worked flawlessly, or you can simply use your keyboard. Select each button and press your input you would like to bind to it. There are some additional hotkeys in the general hotkey tab that you may want to bind, such as full screen, pause resume, or an input for a microphone. Now that we have our controls set up, up, the last step is to check out the video settings. Under the config tab is a video settings window, which you can change a few settings. I would suggest changing your 3D render from software to OpenGL, as OpenGL will generally be faster, but if you have any issues, feel free to try software. With OpenGL though, you can enable internal resolution upsteering for 3D objects, and with that you can also have vSync, which could prove beneficial. Finally, you may enable polygon splitting, which may have your games look a little better. You can do any, some, or none of these options. Feel free to play around and see what looks the best to you on your computer. Lastly, in the main emulator application, under the system tab, you can enable cheats, which allow you to use various cheat codes if that's your deal, or if not, don't worry about it. Now we are ready to actually launch our games. To do this, simply go to File and then Open ROM. You will have to select the ROM file you have on your computer wherever you have it. Now you may ask, is there a place to download the game files online? Which I will say there are a few websites out there and I may be showing you the site I use to download all my games from in this video? Vimsnet does indeed have every single cartridge for the DS, so it's pretty nice to use, just saying. But I'm not promoting it but it will be in the description for educational purposes. Games come in the .nds file type, so make sure you're getting the right thing. Now that we are playing our favorite DS games, you may notice something. It's small. Well, it's not an issue. You can simply drag and extend the window to make it bigger, or if you binded the full screen button, you can use that. There's also a few other settings that you can use to make your experience better. Under the config tab, there are a few different screen options, from setting certain sizes, rotating the game, or changing the layout of the screens. Each 
Each DS game is unique to how it uses the two different strings, so depending on the game, you can have the strings vertical, horizontal, or if you want to choose an emphasis to make one of the strings larger, you can do that too. That's all, thanks for sticking through to the end. Feel free to donate to the Melon DS Patreon or PayPal if you want to support this project. If you have any other questions, there's a brief FAQ on the Melon DS website, but the form is also active. Just play around with the settings until you get a good experience. Have fun playing your DS games.